<laughs> Leg on my blouse. <laughs> Uh, hey. Oh, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Episode 21. Nice. Cheers, cheers. Check. Oh, check. Yeah. Oh, shit. Jag is back. Ah. Are we live? Cine Gang. Oh, oh well. and there it Cine is. Cine Gang is back. Free 99 Ooh. Podcast. Uh, don't forget to email us. ASKFree99 at gmail.com. Y'all motherfuckers never email us, so email us. <laughs> Follow us, SoundCloud, <laughs> iTunes, YouTube, and IG official Free99 Podcast. Shout out to We Eating, the F word. Uh, Life Breeds Art, Abs Originals, Out of Pocket Live. Uh, shout out to Hess Barbershop. Uh, also, Listen. shout out to, uh, what's the Twitch? Oh, Twitch, Sidebus Media. Sidebus Media. Uh, shout out to Phil and all his kids. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. What up, kids? <laughs> Don't listen. Hey, Don't G. listen. <laughs> Gus in the building. Philly Phil in the building. Yep. We got Jared back. And from a long-awaited yes. return yeah. from Parts yeah. Unknown, Jerisa's <laughs> back. First lady. I'm back. <laughs> First lady of Free 99. She's back, y'all. By popular yeah, demand. Yeah, back. What? Yeah. A lot of masculinity on the last couple podcasts. and I'll take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clean this up real quick. Clean that up. <laughs> How was the trip, Teresa? How was it, the trip? it was it was good. It was different. So, I don't think everybody knows that the trip was uh, to to meet with my in laws and to meet uh, my husband's mom's side of the family for the first time, and that was really interesting. Nice, yeah. interesting is a nice choice of right word. Into that one, huh? Right interesting is a nice choice. Interesting <laughs> leaves room for different things. Depends how you you're you're interested. Go on. Go on. It Great. was um. It's so my family's from Iloilo. That's in the Visayas. There's a circle there. There's a circle. Iloilo circle, right? Is that a thing? A circle? Sorry, I don't know. No. <laughs> You're confusing Google me. Google steered you wrong. <laughs> Google taught you wrong. And then so where I went was uh, Leyte. Okay. I've never been there before. And the province is called Burawin. And it's a really small province where mm-hmm. uh, I learned that everybody kind of knows each other. Hmm. Like that's how small it is. Like cheers. Everybody yeah, knows everybody knows your, your name, name, kind of. Yeah. So that was, that was cool. <laughs> Because Ilo Ilo is really a lot more developed now, and Burawin is still uh, getting there. Country, it's very country. There's a lot of farmlands. Were they expecting you guys to do a throw a fiesta, or did you did you throw a fiesta? They threw a fi- well because it was like the ninth year life celebration mm. of his uncle Ralph's uncle, mm-hmm. so they had this huge thing, and then there was like birthdays, and there, they did it big. They had lechon. Did they have like designated basketball teams that played for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> they do that what? shit there. They, no, no, they did. <laughs> team Jerisa and Team Ralph, they do that shit there. I know that's really? true. That's yes, true. They do. They held a test you. No, you know what they did? Karaoke. Oh, huge on karaoke, and did they you kept. Sing? And you gotta sing. They made me yeah. sing, you guys. You can't turn it down. Oh, they made the me Philippines. sing, you guys. I was <laughs> so <laughs> nervous. What song? Um, Mariah Carey. Okay, so his oldest cousin, <laughs> <laughs> they call him Kuya Noel. Kuya. He's like the expert in karaoke. So he he like he was holding the mic the whole time, and then once everybody was drunk, and they almost always drink tuba. That's like fermented uh, coconut, uh-huh. or I'm sorry. Coconut Lump, is sap. Is that like Lumbanog? That's it's, like next level. No, Lumbanog, Lumbanog is like a uh, distilled uh, version of Tuba. Tuba is the jail version of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you can make it at home. Yeah. No, okay, it's it's shine. um it's like the sap from the tree of the oh no I'm sorry the sap of the coconut flower. What's that? If if I got that correct, so I know a couple girls that have that coconut flower <laughs> sap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to y'all you for it. keeping it sweet. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I sorry. I ain't never heard that before. <laughs> I'm pretty and sure he's just made it up. Later, you ain't never met a real player like this. <laughs> You've been holding on that one. <laughs> You've been holding on to that one. So like, say it again. Explain what that is so I could use this one. <laughs> It has to be to this specific conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, me. So they uh, <laughs> he just playing. Yeah, yeah. You know what he like. I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> coconut flower yeah. sap. Uh, let's move away from that. Karaoke. So they, the karaoke, karaoke. karaoke. All right. They made All right. me sing karaoke. Yeah, I took terrible. one for the team because my husband didn't want to. He's not. He's not a karaoke dude. Mm. But because he, I think he's one of the oldest 
male cousins you know like the hierarchy is like huge in the philippines right mm -hmm. like so you know you always have to address your elders properly and then you have to know who the oldest cousins are and you know they have the biggest say so anyway uh. took one for the team so i had to sing one i think they they picked one for me it was it was james ingram damn yeah oh, yeah. oh you just passed away recently uh. Who's that? Let's get a little sample there. of what you sang. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? Who's I'm trying there? to remember the, the name. Was the guy singing on the Aladdin song? No. Is that Luther Vandross? Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on from that. So, yeah, I was really nervous. I did that. And I think after I did that, I think I, I did good with the cousins. Did you know? drink? And yeah, dude. You had to, right? I yeah. had to. So we were just like <laughs> nights where we were just drinking in a row. And I was like, they thought I couldn't drink. I was just like, okay, let me... You know, but you I don't want to be, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to come off boastful like, <laughs> oh, his wife you is a, it. his wife is a drunkard. She's out here. <laughs> so you She's had to drink, but still maintain. I had to drink, but it turned out cool line. because I ended up drinking with the dudes. Okay. When you drink with the dudes, like, that means you can hang. Yeah. Where the auntie's looking at you like, oh, you're drinking too much. <laughs> 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 no, they were busy with their own thing. Uh, I, I drank with the dudes and the girls, and that that I think that put me in a good spot. With made the, the bond, right? Like yeah. you spent time. Yeah, and I think they thought of me. Maybe they had impression that you know how they are from the you know from the stage, just spoiled. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know they were like, I don't know, like catering to me and stuff. I don't like that. So like I feel weird. Yeah. So when we got to talk a little bit more, I got to tell them about my story, how I grew up, and then after that they kind of like. Eased um, in, a eased bit. in, yeah, and oh. then sometimes you gotta meet them halfway, right? So they were very nervous about talking English, and so I get really nervous about talking in Tagalog, but I I tried. You did it? I did, and I sound really dumb, but it was like they saw <laughs> that I was trying. Yeah, yeah, the effort was there. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, you just gotta try. I didn't want my husband to look like he <laughs> married some, you know. How long was that trip? It was a month. Yeah. Yeah. Was it too long. Yeah, it was too long. <laughs> well, it, it's too long in the same place in the Philippines. Yeah. But, like you guys didn't move or you just stayed there? No, I moved. I moved around. I, I had, if my aunties found I was in the Philippines and didn't visit them, I think I would have, you know what I mean? Got you got a, a curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> curse me. Put some on me. With a hex. Kulam. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it is? That was a long yeah, intro. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this episode for a long like time. I've been waiting to strike on you. <laughs> I've, been, I've been waiting for this episode for a long time. Yeah, been saving them the jokes. Yeah. For a whole month. <laughs> a whole month. It's no, no. I, I went from Burawan back uh, to Iloilo. I visited my family. It was such a big contrast because... I, I was in Iloilo not that long ago, like mm -hmm. maybe la late last year, and they were building this huge like area called Mega World, and they have it in Manila, and it's supposed to be Mega world, world, it's supposed world. to be a mix of like the biggest cities in the world, like New York, uh, Paris, like Vegas, Vegas, <laughs> yes, and it was world, just weird. World, world, world. So it was a good breakup of of a trip. So it didn't. I guess it wasn't too long. But work-wise, it was hard to get stuff done. No internet? No, there was internet, but it wasn't as strong. And, and just time with the family, you don't want to yeah, seem like... 3G. Like, they do. It's <laughs> just 3G. Oh, Jam. Yeah, 3G. Right. Two up, two down. <laughs> two up, two down. <laughs> 3G. <laughs> oh, we don't do M4, we only do MP3. <laughs> MP3. <laughs> Only day five. That's good. That's yeah. How was the flight though? That's the one thing I hate about traveling is the flight. <clears throat> I know, I know. The uh, older I get, the more nervous I get. Like nervous. going start yeah. thinking about shit. Yeah. Because you know, there's this one part there. going to the Philippines, there's always turbulence. And it's sometimes not that bad, but sometimes really bad. So this one time it was so bad, I was holding coffee, right? And the plane started shaking and then my coffee jumped like the liquid jumped out of the cup. Onto the train that never happened before. I swear to God, I thought I was gonna die. Oh. I started crying. Yeah, that's what happened. Was that on, that been on the way there or coming back? This was last year. This time oh, around, okay. there was like a there was like a quick ten second drop. Oh, dude. Yeah, and I was like, <gasps> ten seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ten seconds is a long God, time. Damn. That heart's already like right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start to think at what point yeah. do I start to express myself <laughs> that you know thinking I'm gonna die <laughs> so you try to play it cool for a while <laughs> would you fly Philippine Airlines I did would you uh, 
I can't do flights like that. Why? It's, like long flights? Yeah. Like I, I would, I would probably budge for the upgrade. Did you, did you? See? You have to, right? You have to do like first class or. I would, I would have to. That's hell expensive. Their yeah, business right. class is first class, and that's three thousand dollars. I just did economy. Yeah. Does the seat go back? To the next uh. dude's lap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ma'am, you made your seat up. It's time for the meal. <laughs> time for the meal, ma'am. <laughs> Up, yeah, please. I did economy. It was cool. I, I mean, was there Wi-Fi really on it? Small. Yeah, there's Wi-Fi. I mean, everything. That's amazing. Now, everything though. is upgraded. Look, wifi. there's Wi-Fi in the plane. Okay. There's Wi-Fi in the airport. Okay. And then USB there's, cords. <coughs> there's USB cords in the newer yes, planes. That's what's and fun. they got yeah. charging stations in the airport. Yes, they, they got yes, toilet they paper in the bathroom. No, yeah. I, I still like that one though. For real. I, I you better make sure you don't use that hand to eat. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's, it's cut, your, cut your yeah. fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> so what is this? I'll just, I'll just like go face first like a dog in my food. You know what I mean? <laughs> Curry. <Yeah. laughs> like, like it's a pie eating contest. Wait, oh, okay, this is my question. You said you prefer tabo, right? Yeah. And for our non-Filipino listeners, tabo means like in the Philippines they use a... Um, a, a a uh a water scooper what's what would you call yeah. that uh it, it is a we just call it tabo tabo it like a is cup or a cup with a handle it, it looks Long like handle? a macaroni empty macaroni salad <laughs> container <laughs> <laughs> the thing you scoop your rice it's, out it's, with it's, <laughs> it's it's a it's a cup larger than a cup with a yeah. handle yeah. and so when you go to bathrooms in the philippines or or filipino homes sometimes mm-hmm. they'll have that in a bucket and mm-hmm. what we do is we we use it in, it's kind of like a bidet but you don't have one so you hand you, you scoop help. up the water and then you splash your own ass splash, you know splash I mean? your ass and wipe that <laughs> shit around <laughs> it's supposed to be cleaner right Rub yeah okay head. so my question is okay because I went there okay. and they because it's in the province hmm. no judgment K in case you know people are listening in the province I'm just saying back. because so the, their bathroom was there was a toilet Right, but and it was, like, it was, like a hole? It was everything was all clean, but it didn't flush. Oh. So they they did tabo. So there was a huge bucket with a tabo. Mm-hmm. Now I haven't done tabo in a really long time because mm. I've never been in that situation in a really long time. Mm-hmm. Now when I was trying to do it, I didn't know what to you do. Oh. <laughs> like, Babe, can you I come in here? No, no, no. Like <laughs> I was like, around. okay, like I've been here before. This is I grew up like this, right? So yeah. I was like, okay, all right, all right. I know what I'm doing. And then when you do it, so you. And, and the bathrooms with the tables, their floors are always wet. Always. Right? Yeah. So you put your pants down. It splash them. <laughs> but your pants, the bottom of your pants is, gets wet. Right? You so you end up it rolling it. <laughs> so the first time I did, I was like rolling my pants so that the ankles were up, but then my pants were rolled. Oh, <laughs> right? Shit. And then so there was this no toilet seat. Right so you got to hover. So I hovered. Uh. So imagine rolled up pants and hovered. And then the table was over here. Like it was like oh. further than arm distance. Arm, yeah. So you scoop the towel with your right, you splash right, and then you yeah. use your left. What? A, Why the water go everywhere? <laughs> no, yeah, no, no I, I know. It's hard to aim with that hand. You said you prefer towel, so what's your technique? Um, to take off my pants before I go. I when I yeah, I just take my pants. I'm I'm just I'm just bare from the from the floor down. Just like, swing it. Maybe just stand waist up down, and just hang your ass over the bowl and then yeah. let the water run no, down your back. My wife will vouch for this. I get water everywhere. It don't matter. Just as juice. So you just everywhere. yeah, let it. They didn't have any trash cans <laughs> or toilet paper. Dude. So <laughs> how do you wipe yourself afterwards? You have to. You have to just no, get but, there. no, no, no. Like okay, it. so there's water everywhere on okay. your ass, on okay. the bottom of your thighs. But you put your pants on? It's in the Philippines. My shit's going to dry. No <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe it's easier for dudes. You know what I mean? Just rub your ass against the wall. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> As you walk down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little ass white. Just scoot along the wall. Because, you know, at the end of the trip, uh, I did end up taking my whole, like, you just go to the bathroom half naked. Right? <laughs> right? No. Are you for real? It's just, I'm serious. Like, I was tired of walking out of the bathroom and everybody knew my pants was on the floor. Because <laughs> I would walk out like... She no. peed herself again. No. <laughs> the American like, girl oh, doesn't know how to aim. The girl from the States doesn't know how to wash her ass with a towel. Am girl. Am girl doesn't know how to aim. Girl. Oh, Am man. Girl. Yeah, so I was like, what's everybody's technique? But you know, by the end of the trip, I was like, fuck this shit. Took my pants off. Go to the bathroom half naked. Yeah. But okay, but what, what do you do after you wash? 
How do you wipe yourself? I keep it pushing. <laughs> that, you just put your pants yeah, on all wet? Use as yeah. much toilet paper as you need to, right? The, but there's no, but he's saying there's no, she was saying there's no toilet paper. There's no man. toilet paper gotta, and there was like, no trash your can. Ass and no towel. Towel. <laughs> you no gotta bring towel. your own towel, I guess. And I was like, I, my my husband was right, like, air dry my husband was like, <laughs> why do you think people air. were <laughs> carrying? <laughs> Work. You can't see it right you now, but it and quick. you never will see it. But it's, ah, ah, fourteen. <laughs> ah, ah. What you doing there? Air it out. Air it out. <laughs> no toilet paper, no towel. Why Why is she taking so long? Twerk team, twerk team. Motion helps. <laughs> if you have a towel at your, if you have a towel at your house and I'm taking a shit, I'm using the towel to wipe my ass. So I hope yeah. it's not a face towel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I can't use toilet paper. I can't. Yeah. It. it Think about it like this. Like, use wipes. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. use wipes. You know what so I mean. You just need. You yeah. just need that yeah. feel of extra. So, Hi. would you get a bidet then? We had. We had one. You had one. Yeah, oh. it broke. Isn't that the best? <laughs> broke a bidet. You spent bad. too much time on it. That's some loyalty <laughs> shit. Like first time. Yeah, it's like it's hard to go back after you try it. But. The, the bidet you gotta know the, the water pressure cause you can't hit that you can't hit it the switch yeah. too hard cause then <laughs> you it, you know, there's, there's, there's the pressure, the pressure that you need where it just it like you know it just blanches it it's and like then that. there's the pressure where it's, it's kind blanched. of invading <laughs> it's, 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 it's like, kind of violated <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like that clown game at the carnival where you oh, squirt shit. water in the clown's mouth <laughs> and the balloon pops <laughs> like you want you don't want to get it right in the mouth <laughs> on the first try you want to like let yeah, that breathe a little bit but do you still get surprised it was like, not well. I now you you gotta you gotta prepare yourself. Like, I gotta, I gotta toughen up. You gotta gotta clench. <laughs> Water's coming. Yeah. Winter is coming. There is that transition phase where you just don't you know you don't yeah. know you know how to like brace for it. You know I mean? I'm <laughs> your trip led to this conversation right here. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. The bathroom episode. The bathroom. <laughs> I'm sure our listeners are learning something. Right in there, just. <laughs> Yeah. Had someone Email told me maybe I would have been, you know what? And then I, when I realized I had wipes in my backpack, I said, "Fuck this shit! I'm bringing it to the bathroom." There and I, I, and then when I had a chance to go to a mall, their mall's an hour away, by the way. Hey. So I, I, I bought, I stocked up on on wipes uh-huh. and whatever Double extra wipes, wipes I had, I put it as courtesy to other people because there was his cousins were from Manila and everybody. There was 27 people, I think, in the house. What? 27 oh, people? Yeah. Whoa. It was a big house. It was seven rooms. Um, and you know they had families and stuff, but imagine twenty some people and they're all using tabo. Seven rooms, twenty seven people. You doing the math? How many? <laughs> three people per room. And there were some people. Uh, people one bathroom. bathroom. One bathroom for in that house. And you gotta pass yeah. the kitchen, so that's, everybody knows when you're using the bathroom. That's twenty asses on the seat at any given day. Yeah, Damn. dude. So no I, I put the the wipes down <laughs> as a courtesy. <laughs> Why four, like, what's this? In four days, the whites were gone. Wipe me down. I was like, I knew I wasn't the only one. Damn. Everybody's washing their face. You gotta give her props. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta give her props. This is the first time she's meeting this family, and she yeah. had to go through all that. They're like, oh, American you girl. <laughs> the American They're girl. They're like, you know, the shooting situation is definitely an icebreaker. For yeah. real. It's I bet you they have toilet breaker. paper there. They're just like, take it out. Let's see what she does. You know, <laughs> I, I thought about Everybody buying toilet paper, but shit. if I did, I think that would have took off points because it would have been like, oh, she can't hang. She's no, too high took maintenance. It out of there. Took what out of there. They usually use toilet paper, but they took it out because you were coming. Just because that's yeah, fucked up. Like, Let's see what she does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I adapt. I'm there a chameleon. Go. Yeah, they're like, you think she play once. Sure. <laughs> I wouldn't hey, want to do it, but I would probably have to video log my first time there. I wanted to. I was very tempted, but I think Go at live, the end of IG every live. night, I was exhausted. Yeah. Like, I was just exhausted, like, emotionally and physically exhausted. Mm. Yeah, just because, like, when you're going through it, you don't really think about it, but at the end of the day, you're just like, oh, you my God, this all this stuff. Like, I need to decompress. Culture shock. I wouldn't say culture shock, because, I mean, I grew up like that, and also in Iloilo, you... I have family where you know I visit their houses and they're just like that. But like a month straight, and they're your they're people you met for the first time. Yeah, and you in their building. Like I, you're, yes, you're, I'm in their territory, and they are family. So you're I smelling can't your just shit out the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, she has stomach problems. <laughs> <laughs> Smell like roses. Yeah. And you know, She's like stomach. When it's your first time in the Philippines, everyone gets travel diarrhea, travel stomach. They call it. Oh yeah. Right. But in Barawan, apparently the water comes straight from the springs. So, like, right from the tap, like, I could tell that shit was good. I was like, wow. Because 
You I drank the water there? I drank the water there. Hell no. I didn't get sick. No, I was cool. Oh, shit. Yeah. I can't do that shit. It was straight from the springs. <laughs> it was fresh. I mean, that's what they told me. <laughs> and that's what it tasted the like. <laughs> they told me there was no toilet paper either. <laughs> was there a water truck that came dropped off water each no, week? No, no. No water truck, no oh, nothing. Okay. It was fresh water. Like, they put that water and they use it to cook everything. And everybody drinks it straight from the tap. And then the pools that we went to, like, we went to a resort. Uh, the water was straight from the river. That's what's up. That's crazy. I was like, I, you know, it's, like, good for healing, I guess. Because over here, I mean, you don't know what's in our water. I drink the water at the tap here. Because you go to any restaurant, they serve you water from the tap. Yeah. Really? Think about it. The ice. But you can taste it, right? Yeah. As long as it has ice in it, I'm fine. Yeah, I, yeah. That's a good I don't trust the ice restaurants. Ice, it tastes funny. Like it. Just don't tell me where you got it. Put ice in it. I'm good. There's no better filter than Mountain Spring Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Algae. Algae. Algae filter. Yeah. No, I, when I met his um, oldest cousin, his name, I, I mentioned him, Kuyo Noel. Uh. He stri- he speaks only, I think, Tagalog or Warai. Warai is, is the language they speak in mm-hmm. um, Burawan. So I came in the kitchen, and this was the night that I met everybody at once, right? I came in the kitchen, it was dinner time, and then they were like, um, oh yeah, have you met Kuyo Noel? And everybody, you know, it was like, he's the oldest cousin. You know, I heard his name before and I heard stories, so I was like, you know, I felt like, oh wow, you know, okay, I get to meet him in person. Hi, I'm Jerisa. He looks at him and he's eating, right? He has, he's like, and everybody calls him the Robin Padilla of the family, right? Because he has that, like, that macho, uh-huh. you know? So he's eating, he's like this, right? Uh, using his kamai, and he looks up at me and he goes, Do you speak Tagalog? And I was like, No, but I understand. And he goes, He looks at me. And he goes back to eating. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I was like, but I understand. <laughs> but I understand. Just like that, huh? Yeah. And then the whole week, he didn't talk to me. Dang. Until the last night, we were drinking. And he sat outside. And I turned to him. And I was like, um, OK. Um, uh. <laughs> and I was like, and I told him in Tagalog that I don't speak well, but I'm going to try. And then ap- after that, it was cool. The attempt was there. The attempt that he knew I was trying, it was cool. Dang. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Stamp you of approval. Put yourself yeah. Out there, shoot. That's crazy. <laughs> put I didn't like that time. feeling. I was like, come on, yeah. man, I'm Filipino. Don't treat me like I'm not. Do you feel like you're still processing your time there? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I am. Because they all added me on Facebook. <laughs> Automatically. <laughs> it's automatic. Chaka si Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. This. You know, post the pictures. So, <laughs> did you use your phone at all? Uh, yeah, no. Did you oh, use all the time. Yeah, no. So, when you're in the Philippines, you buy a SIM card. Oh, met, yeah. Okay. Right? There's, there's, there's two companies that you buy from. It's a Smart or Globe. You buy a SIM card, and then you buy what's called Load. Load could be 100 pesos or 500 pesos. And depending how much you get, that's how much data and text you can have. The conversion, was it 60 pesos a dollar? Nah, it was like, 60 when, pesos when I got there, it was like 50 pesos to, do, to a dollar. And it's different per province mm. or wherever you're at. But in Burawan, mm. it was 50 pesos to a dollar, I think. And just to give us a comparison, what was like, let's say a meal at like McDonald's? What, a meal at McDonald's, like maybe like, pesos? like what would be... Let's just say like a, a cheeseburger, a small Coke, and fries. It's all the same size, right? All the Cokes are the same size. They come in a plastic cup like this. They don't got super size. Yeah, no, they got, no. They got, they got small, they got medium. But they don't got the large, I don't think. But over here, like maybe like a $4 meal would be 84 pesos there, which is $2, less than $2. Yeah. Let's fly out there right now and get one. <laughs> get one. <laughs> I can't I last time I paid, up, paid for a McDonald's Same though, you like you feel rich in the Philippines. Just, and your dollar goes a long way. Just touch uh, touching on that, like when I used to work at a bank, a conversation we would have is how much would it take for you to leave this country and never come back? Mm. Like like we, we, we used to work at a bank, so yeah. it'd be like how much how much would it take? Because we used to put the money away. Right. And then like right, right around the holidays, we're putting away easy two million dollars in cash wow. in the vault or in the ATM machine. And you're like, how much would it take for you? Amassed. To 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 have that money yeah. and, and to be out and no longer be part of the you, like you can you can't even come back to visit. You're uprooting hey, everything. Really? Yeah. Not even a visit? No, no. You're you're so cool. two million, you're, two you're pretty that, good right there. Huh? How much? Two million dollars is pretty damn good. <coughs> two million dollars would uh, make a lot. Everything you will never come you back. Disappear in Mexico and, and live in paradise for two million dollars for the rest of your life. I would. would you yeah. Bring a cheetah? Hmm? Would you bring a sheena? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
30,000 or 1 million pesos. Oh, no, I'm sorry. What's 1 million pesos in dollars? But they sell their land at Google. 1 million pesos. Google. 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 Bring out that converter, dog. $30,000 would buy you land. $30,000 could buy you mm. not even a Tesla. $30,000 is not even like... She's going to get you a nice Corolla out here. You can't even live in San Francisco with $30,000. $30,000 is minimum wage at McDonald's here. Yeah, that's true. Corolla yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Bluetooth minimum wage. <laughs> Bluetooth. Dude, that minimum that wage here, you could buy land in the Philippines. It got beats by Dre. <laughs> but you know, the law is that you, you can only be... A Filipino citizen to own like dirt there. You can be an American, a foreigner to buy a oh, condo, mm. but you gotta be own Filipino land? to own dirt. Yeah, no to shit. own actual that's, land. I think that's now. Oh, I remember hearing uh, a lot of U.S. soldiers who were stationed there. Yeah, would just set up shop like fuck it. I'm buying a bar and I'm staying here. Yeah, I know I was so yeah, good. and then have have their pen. I thought I told you. <laughs> <laughs> and then have their pension just roll over, and then they'll have his PNC bank. You know what I mean? Yeah. That yeah. goes a long way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And have all the young wives he wants. Ooh. It's crazy. I'm just saying. I'm not a Never soldier. Do I, don't, I don't do that <laughs> shit. Just looked up to the sky when he said that, man. Hey. <laughs> I saw Aren't that. you married to a soldier, Teresa? <laughs> Hey, hey. I'm an American. Heat off me. <laughs> he loved me. Heat off me. How much would so I, his to family? never never come back? They never come back and give my family a great lifestyle. I would need at least twenty five million. Twenty five million. Nine. Million for the whole family. Where would you it's leave? All Where would you leave? Yeah. Yeah. Where would you live though? I'll probably go Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm yeah, I'm not that far, but I'm not that close. I still go. To, but you can't come back. Like no, I can that. still go to basketball games though. Oh. <laughs> Toronto <laughs> fan. Yeah. But I, you say you can't come back. Nope. But then they play in Toronto. Oh. So you go to That's why Canada. So still, I, still have, I would retire football. in the Philippines or Guam. I can't watch football. Yeah. I don't think I'd miss it. I stand for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Teresa. That's okay. <laughs> you just reminded me. <laughs> I just mean. Yeah, like I'll probably go to Canada. The because the conversion is not that off. Last time I checked, it was like a couple of cents to the dollar. Like it was like a dollar seven for a Canadian loony. You want to go to the Caribbean? Nah. I need to be around 25 like, million is that's a solid ooh, number for any first rate country yeah first rate country and not to mention that'll probably be good for like almost two generations three generations right there right if, it, if you know how to it's if how you, you know how it. to spend that money if you know sure. but if I, 25 million go to Philippines I'll take that too yeah well, why, why, you why, why wouldn't you go Philippines? <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you want your, there wouldn't you want your million? dollar to go farther? <laughs> I would want my dollar to go farther, but if I'm just talking about leaving, I mm -hmm. want to be able to be close enough that people wanted to visit me. I'm just up, I'm just up the way. I got, like, you. That Canadian. I got you. He left us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I could go to Seattle and I could walk across the bridge to see him, right? Because yeah. Canada's you, right there. And then, like, marijuana law mm -hmm. is all good there, right? Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. I gotta see more of the world before I can answer that question, but that's a good question. <laughs> uh, would you take that twenty-five million? Philippines would be good though. Like oh, you yeah. can easily, but then I want I want to still speak English. You know what I mean? True. And you can, <laughs> you can still speak English over speak there. English in Canada, Canada though. though. Yeah. Manila, I feel I, like I love poutine. Y'all know what poutine, poutine is? Hell I love yeah, poutine. Yeah, you know good. what that is? Is French fries? Oh cheese yes, curd I, and gravy. okay. I just learned that last year. My bad. Yes. I, I fuck with cheese curds like that, boy. It's cool. Cheese curds gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which part of Canada? <clears throat> uh, Toronto. Got, uh, Vancouver. Probably the six. <laughs> the six? <laughs> All right. <laughs> the Ron. <laughs> Maddie Madison. Shout out to Maddie Madison. The Ron. <laughs> Toronto. You better be a Raptor fan than a Grizzly fan. Yeah, yeah. For real. For real. Oh, wait, Grizzlies are on the upshirt. Never mind. Never mind that. Go ahead. Grizzlies, Grizzlies are not in Canada. <laughs> go ahead. Memphis, Canada? <laughs> Memphis, <laughs> Grizzlies? Yeah, why would you go to Memphis, Canada? <laughs> Great barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up. They got the, poutine the, barbecue over there. <laughs> the blues was invented. <laughs> in Canada. They have great bacon and maple syrup, so I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> what about you, Phil? What? 25 million. 25 million? And you have to uproot your family out of the state. 
Where would I go? Yeah, where would you go? Where would you go? Do you still have family in the Philippines? Do you guys have family yes. in other places? <laughs> yeah, like distant. Distant, like distant, distant, distant relatives? relatives? Probably Canada. Right? Canada, right? At the, G got family up that's there. That's a solid one, right? Oh. Canada got to be the top answer. 25 million? You I too? Can, yeah, you million. couldn't go wrong with Canada. <coughs> I can fly a plane. You can't go to Mexico because no, I wouldn't go to Mexico. It's all messed up. It's nah. kind of out loud there, even though you know it's a good vacation spot. But Canada, it's a can't great go vacation wrong. spot. It is. I've heard. It is. There's, there's great uh, beaches. Beaches and beaches. Yeah. For real? There's a Cancun. You know, or Tokyo, or the Tokyo Beach, Hong Kong, <laughs> Hong Kong. Tokyo, Beach. Hong Kong. Are we yeah. talking about different things? <laughs> no, there's a club out there. The people are talking. Wow, 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 wow. Oh no! Check our last episode, germs. <laughs> 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 yeah. Huh? So, so Canada. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I could do. Like Europe or anything? I, I don't, I don't oh, think no. I, I'd probably do Australia. I got family in Australia. That'd you be do? dope. Yeah. Uh, they got some really crazy cool. ass insects over there, for real. Uh, oh, you <laughs> saw that one video with the spider crawling? They still got car? prehistoric bugs over there. Because <laughs> oh, they're, oh, no. they're, they're the closest place to where the ozone layer is fucked up. So everyone's skin's fucked up, too. My skin is fucked up. Man. Oh, I, then I would fucked. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with Australia though. That was oh, one, one of my no best. Someone funky like Iceland and, or some shit. Antarctica, oh. Netherlands, or, uh, Antarctica. <laughs> I would probably take How that. How about you guys? Where would you guys want to go if you had twenty five million dollars to to move? Huh? Email 25? us because y'all never email. Email <laughs> real right? Ask. <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't think people know that they can email us questions or DM and us. Topics. DM or us. Talk shit. We know we got listeners, but we want we want some. Feedback. Yeah, talk Lorenzo. Some shit. <laughs> call out, call out one of our 11. Lorenzo, Judy, I know you're listening. Jean Claude, you know. Jean Claude. Shout out to Justin. Shout out to the Justin. Justin, Justin D. Oh no, Justin, the nephew. Oh yeah, Poor the nephew. Yeah. Hey, and yeah. Justin D'Lo needed too. Yeah. yeah. Needed too. yeah. <laughs> All the Justins out there. Hey, Justin D'Lo needed to hook me up with a halal guy's plate, man. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah. on, man. Shout out to Ralph. Shout out to Mish. Everyone listening. <laughs> Hey, shout out to to our oh, shout out to my wife. She's listening to my wife too. Hey, yeah. you know, shout out to your wife. She, like, she, she listens now. Don't lie. <laughs> I see the lie. Lying. She, I hear you enough at home. Don't I look don't at me, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look you in the eye. Don't bro. look me in my eye. Damn. You're different on on podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're a different person. <laughs> you never talk about that. Twenty five million, Teresa. Philippines. Dude, I'd go to the Philippines. I don't know what y'all talking about. Nah. Yeah. Your dollar goes further. Nah. It's a little bit more developed. You get the best of both worlds. They also talk English, and I mean, you still got your roots there because you know you're still you're. I mean, for me, at least. I always thought like, a rap career. If I was, <laughs> dude, if I was oh, going to Philippines. Hey, wait. What talking about talking yeah. about would be, what would it be? What my rap name? Yeah, or? yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude. Marinate on that one. <laughs> I want to hear a good, <laughs> thought out answer. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta think about <laughs> that. I'll come name. back to it. Go ahead, Jared. Where is it? <laughs> I need a good. That that, that has to marinate. Hey, rap in the Philippines has really come up. Like my yeah. my husband introduced me to it. I'm like, I can fuck with this. Cause before it was too much, or sometimes it was corny. They're trying to death threat. Yeah. yeah, but now Andrew it's e. like they got some. Andrew they got e. some just really good rappers. I could fuck with that. Black Jack. I think they have one that's <laughs> really real really famous over name. there. It's called X Battalion. X Battalion? Yeah. Okay. Look them, to, look them up. Shout out to Jaya. Google that. <laughs> shout out to Jaya. They're sexy. Uh, interesting to see where like... Or, yeah. uh, I know who Jaya... Yeah, yeah, she's still good. I'd, I'd be a producer. I'd probably be a rapper slash producer. I'd be the Puff Daddy. Music is getting really good puff, in the Philippines. Your producer name be? Uh, <laughs> he did it. G Sleazy. G Sleazy? That's a good one. That was off top. <laughs> or it'd be Antigas. <laughs> Cause my shit yeah, hard, yeah. son. Cause my shit's hard, son. <laughs> You don't like that. that was so good. That was your samurai, though. I'm the ghost. H-O-R-D. Whore. That shit's whore. It could be your porn name, too. Do you think you guys could be, like, actors or singers if you went to the Philippines? Fuck yeah, I'd have it on TV. <laughs> he I'd have didn't even have the channel. That's what you'd want to do. Is, like, he said fuck yeah. All right, I changed my, idea. I changed my plan. I think I'd be on TV out there. Yeah. I think I could be on TV. I think, I think, I think, do a I think you guys could. MTV Asia is a thing. Yeah, yeah. Is that still around? 
Or did they, they disband all that stuff? I have no idea. I don't have the premium uh, package on my kid. Yeah. When I was out there, we never watched TV. Huh? You watch each other, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and oh, you yeah. know what's a trip, okay, though? Dance. Everybody got cell phones out there. Everybody got smartphones. Everyone like, smartphone. everybody in the province. Like, I was, we were chilling in front of uh, Ralph's cousin's store, and we were just sitting down. Everybody that passed by, even on a motorcycle, they were on their phone, on the motorcycle. Like, the driver would be driving, and then the passenger would be on the, mo- on the phone. Everybody got smartphones out there. Ralph's cousin's store. Yes. Like a sorry, sorry store. Yeah, dude, that's the you know that's the main that, thing. That's like, the business. Yeah. Right. Just a little to make a side, you know, a side hustle or main hustle is a sorry, sorry store. And for non-Filipinos, a sorry, sorry store is basically like your your neighborhood liquor store. It's the it's your garage turned into a store. Yes, uh. they sell everything from shampoo to chips. Shampoo to not toilet paper s- apparently. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She went she went all the way to the mall to buy we have everything here. No, she, but you know she's not investing right with there. the family. I was confused because they had no trash. There oh. was no trash can. There was no tr- wow. I, I, there was no trash. Like I swear to God, I know I'm not crazy. Mm. I went in the kitchen, I was like, where y'all put the trash? They had to take out a plastic for me. For me, because I asked where the trash was. They took Damn. out a plastic and they hung it on some nails. Where y'all put trash? Do you just throw it? Are you gonna watch them to see what they do with their trash? That's I crazy. have no idea. <laughs> like the food, like the food like the waste? scraps were fed to the dogs and the ah. pigs, but no one had circle um, of life, bro. No one circle. had uh, what do you call it? Plastic wrappers and shit like that. Like where do you put that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shout out to the Philippines though, because when I went to paper straws, yes, paper straws everywhere. Mm. They, they are phasing out plastic straws <laughs> and they're being more environmentally conscious. I ain't Dude. fucking with no paper straw on my boba. They need to do it out there. <laughs> my boba needs a plastic straw. But you know what the straw. secret is? Because what I found out, I was really annoyed with the paper straw because they started disintegrating my drink. Yeah. After you sip, you take it out. Like limp. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of work. Did you drink anything out of a bag? Um, Buy egg? No. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, hey, I didn't get a chance to do that. Hey. <laughs> hey. hey. Yeah, well. Oh. Yeah. No. 25 million. I'm going to the Philippines. I'm going to become, I'll have my own TV station. You'll be a freaking yeah. mayor. <laughs> oh. Dude. You hang out with, with Pacquiao. Manny. Yeah. You can just buy food for all the kids that rush you on the street at any time. Which one? Hell of Jolly Bees. And it would never put a dent on your fortune. Yeah. I could do that. I would probably, inv- like, I wouldn't do Jollibee's, though. I'd probably invest that back into, like, the Sorry Sorry stores. So mm-hmm. it's, you know what I mean? No, I kind of get that, too. To mm-hmm. feed the feed the economy instead of, like, giving yeah. it to Look the, at you, the, the big. Yeah, he's, he's a, a giver. A corporation. Yeah. Despite what anybody says, hey, he's a giver. A giver. <laughs> he is. I am not a taker. He's not the receiver. <laughs> I knew that was going to go there. Terrell Owens. <laughs> Wide T- open. No. Tino. <laughs> Just Mac Mall, wide yeah. open. I do. I'd, I'd, be a, I'd be a rapper in the Philippines. I'd What's have gold day? teeth. You'd be a rapper. G Sleazy, probably. Or, uh, G Sleazy. Auntie Gus, right? No. <laughs> right. In the, if I'm, I'm sorry. Targeting the Philippines, <laughs> I'd have a ghostwriter though. Lil I'm some what? All my shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I can't rhyme. You'd be like Lil T Gus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Anything Lil, 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 I can see oh, it, dude. I can see it. Uh, I'll visit you. It's a promise yeah. you yeah. I'll definitely visit you. I'll visit you. <laughs> That'll definitely get me to the Philippines. <laughs> I gotta I'd, go. I'd the request you. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I would bring all, like, the American acts over. Like, I'll bring over YG. I'll bring over, like, Kanye. <laughs> It'd be dope in the Philippines. I'd, I'd, I'd headline. <laughs> That thing, I'm gonna <laughs> open it for me. You know what I mean? Very, have none of that. Rick Ross yeah, check it out. is the <laughs> opening for me. <laughs> But then and then I would I would make tracks with all of them. While you're over here, we're gonna make a track. So I do. I, they all be on my track. Have you have you rapped on something before? No, I don't do that. He shit. just don't he, lie. He don't rap it up. It got never released. Don't even lie. No, don't even lie. No, no Trump. No. <laughs> no Trump. No, I don't rap. I kept that. But I did, and you helped me with this. I did 
uh, produce an album for my friends. Yes. And you, you did an album. Uh, you did an re- album release cover. The, yeah. the flyer. Uh, flyer. I did flyer. Nice. Yeah. The campaign. Oops. Shout out y'all, to Ice. Y'all don't even know. Shout out to Barnan. Shout out to been, Lansky. Oh. Oh. He has he has yeah. a yes. lot of projects under his belt. If yeah. y'all don't know, there's a, there's a lot of belt here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you a was lot of projects. Two thousand eight. No, this was like <laughs> even before mm-hmm. fifteen. Oh five. That oh five. Right? Oh five. Oh six. Teresa. Yeah. 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 When Obama, Obama was running. When Obama was running for mm-hmm. office, because uh, that was the theme. Oh, the campaign. We oh, called yeah. it the campaign. Yeah, and then we did had Antrax do all the all the production, and then we had oh we had Buck C Buck do some production, and you know who mastered our shit? Who? You would. Gazi, who owns Empire, the d- d- uh, digital distributor that's fucking with like, everyone. Gazi. E M P Y R E. Empire. Uh, no, 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 IRE. IRE. Yeah, yeah. Gazi, if you look up his wrong. name, that oh, dude no, is the <laughs> dude. Like, d- Fat Joe, all these guys are assigned to his just uh, his media d- uh, distribution. <laughs> wow. And he mastered our album. Nice. And D- You've done a lot of work, man. Ah, I'm just trying to stay busy. People don't I'm know. Later. Yeah. So we need a we need a you episode. Oh, I feel like they're all me, and you guys are just here. <laughs> oh, okay. So when it turns into <laughs> Gus episode, yeah. so, unfortunately. So on that note, <laughs> 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 any stories for us? Guys? No, mm-hmm. no, no. I have a topic though. So. Okay, yeah. you know how... 45 minutes later? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this is going to bleed into another one or we're going to be a long episode, but this is something I've been thinking about for a long time. Me? How? Yes. Who? No, I don't think about you. <laughs> I think I about are, you. I think about us. I think about... Uh, with me, with me. <laughs> so, with us being San Franciscans, and we look at people who are not from San Francisco who live here now, uh, we call transplants, you think our family felt the same way when they came into San Francisco mm. being immigrants. Because mm. I shit on a transplant all day. I all shit on, day. like, 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 if I see one and they're doing the most and I'm like, this fucking clown. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Or, and it's, it's the same, right? Yeah. So we're given, like, we're so given the same hate. That. Yeah, we're yeah. given the same hate that that we see that was given to our parents being they just moved here Even, but Damn, we're not we feel bad but now. are we but see <laughs> what makes us different though is like we're not we're cool we're not make yes yes we're, <laughs> we're not uh, upping the value by buying everything out mm-hmm. right like we're not buying out like uh, all this land and making it unaffordable we open mm-hmm. the culture mm-hmm. Say it again. We help enrich the local culture. Yeah, that's what we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then like, yeah, what's the true, true history of Filipinos in San Francisco and the or the Bay Area, or even California? Is I it, feel like we've been here, like, longer? since like early development of yeah. these cities. Like, uh, we like, helped build it because it's like I know we helped build railroads with the Chinese and shit. Yeah, it was just Chinese <laughs> so were prominent, and like then we were always present. We, well, we were part of the. That's what we do. We just the speak in. Caesar Chavez. Exactly. Caesar Chavez, the yeah. the the great thing. What, what's one boy's name? I know Dries to know because she's an Asian. Oh Amer- come on! <laughs> Asian American history major. Are you talking about the farmer. Don't put me yeah, on the spot. Yeah, there's, we, a, there's a Filipino dude that Filipinos was. Filipinos were just a part of that movement. What the hell is his name? From what I've Shout out to you, player. I don't know what your name. Labu uh, Labu. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, Filipino grape dude. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> no, so they gave, they gave all, all the credit to Cesar Chavez, but there because was there was more Latinos in in that. But there was a Filipino dude that was his right hand. Yep, grape oh. uh, dude. Filipino grape dude. I'm gonna look it up, bro. That's his name. <laughs> I feel like he has a mural on Sixth Street. Of him. Oh, what's no. his name? I'm sorry. All you Filipinos, uh, they don't know motor- either. It was a Filipino American worker. <laughs> Delano Grape Strike of 1965. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what dude's name is. It. I don't know what dude's name is. Balillo? Huh? Mm-mm, but there's a know. book about him. Yeah, there's a book. We need to educate oh. ourselves, Filipinos Fuck. and Filipino Americans. But they gave all the credit to Cesar Chavez, but there was a Filipino. Uh, a leader in that unit. I think it was a farmer's. What is that shit called? It's just called me anymore. Liquor. So half of Army Street should be ours. 
<laughs> That's, exactly what we're getting. That's what we're getting. At. That's what we're getting. At. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're getting these facts. Oh yeah. I don't know what dude's name is. Y'all know his name. Email us and let us know what dude's name is. DM us. D- Mono, what you feel about what I just said about the whole Filipinos being out here? But then when we, when us, us as first generation Americans see people coming to San Francisco and they're not from Frisco and we hate. What you feel? You have no feeling on it? Cause you let you let people fight on the bus. Yeah. No feeling. I got a lot to say about next time. All right. There's a lot to say about that. Let's just do episode 22 while we're at it. Holy it's shit. It's yeah. right here. They call it the forgotten Filipinos or the farmers. Yeah. Man, fuck, farmers we forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, you know, also, I mean, like, maybe because there was a large, a large population of Latinos, you know, and, oh, here's the thing. So, I mean, there's a large population of Filipinos here in San Francisco, right? Mm. But then, By hotel? <clears throat> Yes, and then and then you know some people argue that oh we're forgotten, but and I've had this conversation with my husband too. It's not that we're forgotten, but maybe maybe we didn't have people fighting for us. Do you know what I mean? There was a lot of like movements for African Americans, for Latinos, but maybe we didn't have we were not mainstream not because the media. I'm not saying there wasn't anyone fighting for us. Don't get me wrong, because I don't want to disrespect anybody who was. Mm. But I'm saying maybe the media didn't pay enough attention to us. Larry you know? Italion. Yes, I that's his do right name. here. There's a book on him. Journey for Justice. Mm-hmm. Larry. He, he was a. Uh, Shout out to you, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, I say. Jennifer. We should have a special episode on that. Larry. Because that's big. We didn't gentrify? Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's the biggest difference. We helped the culture. There was still plenty to go around here in the city for us to... It was so, uh, times were so different. Like said, I mean, It's hard to compare. From, to being, like, from, from being an show. immigrant trying to start a family and a new life compared to a transplant who came from a different city yeah. and wanted to get paid more for and a they, job. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, It's money. a totally different purpose. And a lot of, and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of our family members are are, are, are military. So they yep. they put their life on the line in order for us, our families, to have a better life, right? Yep. Yeah, true that. Yeah. I remember my we built this city. My um. We built this city. <laughs> I'm chicken adobo. I'm chicken adobo. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, ex-military dudes that that was I was told. Like they gave land to their homies in the like in the Philippines that when they came here because it's like I have all this land, mm-hmm. you damn near helped save my life. You know, here's a little piece of it. So, you know, yeah. shout out to y'all. I don't I don't know what your name is. <laughs> yeah, shout out to y'all, man. Thanks. Just spitballing. Spit, you know, we're just, we're just going with the motion. We're, we're trying to we're, fight these transients for you. Yeah, we didn't gentrify. We're losing them because we, we got no money. <laughs> yeah, that definitely is a good. Point. So, like a one bedroom in San Francisco runs for thirty five thousand dollars a month. Yeah, thirty five hundred. Well, that's what they're saying. Thirty-five hundred. What district are we uh, using as an example? That, that's just like that's just like the meat. That's just like the thirty-five hundred. You said. Well, that's what they're saying with these yeah. uh, with these millennials. They're they're expecting the birth rate to drop because nobody has the money or the time or the funds. Yeah. It, it's kind I of mean, like a, seriously. Ooh. I mean, it's shit a doesn't make sense. It's going to come yeah. down the road. It doesn't make sense. You don't get paid enough. They don't they raise the living the the living costs, right? The mm. and the cost of living here and raise the roof. And, yeah. <laughs> and income. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. <laughs> raise the roof. You know. But how how can you Japan. expect anybody to live? Mm. That's yeah. hella. Can I live? I mean, I, I I think two years ago or uh, 2016, 2017, I lived in a two-bedroom apartment. They raised the rent to 3000 something. That's mortgage. Yeah, that's yeah. a mortgage bill. Hell yeah. no. Anything past, anything past two and two. a half is like, that's yeah, you. Fuck you. You pay mortgage. That's insane. Yeah, Who that's would do that? Nuts. That's a sh- you might as well be the on fuck? that shit. Well, that's what they're doing. They're kicking everybody out. They yeah, yeah. Gear out. Oh, okay. so oh, there's a house across the street from where I live. Um, a Filipino dude owned it. He passed away. His his kids sold it like right away, fuck. and it sold for a million point, a uh, one point five million dollars. Off of Geneva. On Damn. Paris. On Paris. Oh. Off of Geneva. 
Don't sold it. Where you live. I'm not like, trying to bust you out. <laughs> it's okay because Paris it's is Paris. a long block. Yeah, that's right. So they sold it really quick. Paris. And then in the span of one year, they renovated it. And it's the most one of the most modern looking houses on the street. And the person who bought it, I thought they were going to live in it. Right? Renovation. They're selling it. Flipped it. For more than $1.5 million. What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A Miata pulled up in front when it was done. I was like, oh, hell no. Miata. A Miata. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, I, I mean, no it's good it. because, it's like, my in laws, yeah. you know. The value goes up for everybody yeah. that owns a house there, but yeah. imagine all the mom and pop Start stores. Really People who are trying to make a living, just, you know, and they, they can't. And they're paying rent Love and it. good lord. Bravos will still be around because they're a cash only business. <laughs> Bravo. Shout out to Bravos. Bravos will still be there, cash only business. All the Chinese bakeries will still be there, cash only business. That one Chinese bakery been there forever. Geneva. Geneva. I hear they're fucking with Chinatown now. What? Like like really? I've been hearing that they've been trying to bust more regulations on the business. You like you're able to bust like a, a lyric right now. He's just I like, do. Oh, so <laughs> I'm say you, you got the microphone like about the check, spoken, check, spoken check, words. Check. Yeah. 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 You should have seen when I grabbed the mic. It was yeah, hot. Yeah. Baby, I'm selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Some Slum Village. Yeah, well, shout out to Slum Village. Slum, Slum Village. Village. Oh, wow. That was our only Kanye track. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else you got for us, guys? <laughs> I don't know. You got us. We went really deep on this reunion episode. I don't really know. We're glad to be back. We here. did. Yeah, we just got to be back. Yeah. We're yeah. yeah. we out of time. Was good. Voltron. All five heads. We got right. 10 minutes? Oh, what we already? We Let's talk about this wrestling minutes. thing we did, huh? Okay. Let's talk about the wrestling thing we did. <laughs> oh, oh, that shit was fun, oh, man. Oh, so I saw the story. Next time, babe, we're going to Stoner. I have questions. Oh my god. So, has got questions. It was Doctor <laughs> X's pre-birthday bash, and if you guys don't figure out right now, Doctor X is white. Um, <laughs> he uh. We went to a rest. I found a wrestling event for for my Amateur coworker, wrestling. my boss at work, Tasha. Shout out to you, Tasha. She told me about this thing called Hood Slam. Hood Slam hosts, hosts this thing in uh, the Oakland Opera Metro House every Friday to where it's a live wrestling event. Ooh. That shit was live wrestling, fun. dude. It was. That gr- shit was fucking There was fun. green smoke everywhere there <laughs> there is no seat so everyone's there. standing motherfuckers are slamming like people are smacking the ring that are just part of the crowd they brought out chairs they brought I out always wanted to smack the ring the energy was fucking lit oh, dude, it was, it was 80% white and it was oh. awesome <laughs> <laughs> like they looked at us like we did not belong yeah, but we felt like we belonged. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Phil and my cousin Fred were the only two people there in Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone had like DCs on or something. Yeah, <laughs> DC <laughs> fans. Oh my god! <laughs> Element shirts. Man. That shit was hell of fun. That it shit was, was a three-hour show. Yeah. Look, people don't sleep on wrestling. Like you come to an event. And you feel the energy is totally different. I enjoy wrestling. It's it, really fun it, when you're there. If you see it see live, it like live, I really appreciate it. <laughs> They're throwing each other out the ring, out the ring, blood. Yeah, yeah. seeing the physical action like in person is totally different. Yeah. It, you'll, you'll get sucked into that. And shit. they stay in character. Like you're talking shit yeah. to them. They'll they'll play what they're. Then what they're rolling. There was a guy named Ja Ross who, ja Ross. who was dressed, Bob Ross. dressed up as That's Bob so Ross. So Ross. Ja Ross is such a good name. Ja Ross. <laughs> no. right. Shout out to Ja Ross, whoever you are. And he, <laughs> was, he was painting. He, he was painting. He was painting a live show. He was painting live. It's and if everyone to see, man. I don't know if he switched out the paintings. Like halfway through, but it was a dope <laughs> yeah. landscape. I think, they had, I, think, I think they had like three different paintings oh, that they switched like, out with God. no one watching. But this shit was Ta-da. nice. I was Yo, man, so people gone. People be taking wrestling into different places. And shit. He wrestled this. I think it was was that a uh, chick? Rosie was O'Donnell. It? Rosie O'Donnell <laughs> from League of Their Own. From League of, uh, as a jo- what is it, Jared? A, he, he took on a Rockford Peach. A Rockford yeah. Peach. <laughs> but what? but she had a a red like wiffle ball bat that she kept licking, <laughs> and she kept pointing at people with this shit. It was yeah. really disturbing because she wasn't a pretty girl. And she kept doing this shit. Yeah. It was fun. 
They even had like the little camcorder so you can look up on the screen dope. and see a live feed. But you're watching the shit right in front of you and oh you're still... <laughs> so what is Shout this again? It's called there. Hood Slam. Box. Hood Slam. So the, the would feed... you ever do it? Would you ever be a wrestler if someone no, gave I'm, you a chance? I would be... I would. I, I'd be a good manager. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I'd be a talker. I, I'd be Virgil. If I was still oh, living at home and I didn't have to pay rent, I might. No, I mean like if like one day someone was like, all right, you guys are going to do tonight's wrestling. I did it. <laughs> if I didn't want to take off my shirt, I'll leave my shirt on. I'll do it. <laughs> Six Wouldn't man tag, I'll do it with Gus and You Gil. guys ever watch Glow on Netflix? Yes, that's oh. such a good series. That's such a good, that show. Is a good show. That is so show. Yeah. That's, real yeah, sh- yeah. that's based on real shit. Jared's yeah. uh, brother used to wrestle. You remember that shit? For real? Talk? Yeah. My little brother. Yo, shout out to Full you. Metal Raymond. Wow. Raymond, he came up in the indie scene in, in the Bay Area. So uh, he came up under some legends. Uh, Mike he traveled, Modest. right? Yeah, he traveled. Wow. He started here in the Bay Area under uh, Mike Modest. Uh, he was in Beyond the Map. Dude's an indie legend. Oh. Uh, Donovan Morgan. Um, he also learned under Spike Dudley. Kane. What? You guys know Kane? Yeah. Undertaker's brother. No you big know. deal. Yeah, no big, no big deal. My oh, little brother, me. he was a little guy, but my little brother was a, he's a, he was a really good wrestler and he was in That's the That's your training. little brother? Yeah. That's my little brother. Damn. So uh, he, he eventually, he followed a girl to Boston and he took mm-hmm. his talents out there and wrestled in that scene. So your brother's a really good wrestler. Yeah. What happened to the girl? Jerry's going to ask y'all videos out there. Just done. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't do it anymore, thank God, because you got to quit at some point. But like, you know, a lot of the guys in the cruiserweight division, a lot of the smaller guys that you see on WWE, my mm-hmm. brother came up with those guys. Like wow. TJ Perkins? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He knows. You know, he definitely came up with uh, Fili- that no. same group, TJ that, Perkins and all them. What's his name? Filipino Flash or something? I think that's what they call him, yeah. Philippine oh, Flash, yeah. I saw like him on the magazine on the way to the Philippines. On the, uh, on the Sky Mall. <laughs> on, Philippine, on Philippine Airlines. They have a magazine called Mabuhai. He uh, was in the magazine. Mabuhai. Yeah. TJ Perkins is legit. My TJ brother. Perkins. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Came up in the same circuits as like Sasha Banks when she was coming up. Sasha he Banks. He was on shows with Sasha Banks. <laughs> My little brother got thrown out of a battle royal by Animal from the Road Warriors. <laughs> Animal? My brother bought some beers for Jimmy Snuka. You know, rest in peace, Jimmy rest Snuka. Peace, Jimmy. My brother rubbed Super elbows fly. with a lot of legends at those indie shows. He helped take a, a cast off Roddy Piper's hand That's one time at a show. R.I.P. to the pipe. Um, he had the a talk with Bret Hart. <laughs> what? Yeah. Bret Hart um, huh? recognized him. Uh, from another show in Hayward back in the day. Mm-hmm. He was out in Boston. He saw my brother at a show and he chopped it up with my brother. And he's just like, he told my brother, shout out to Bret Hart for this shit. He said, don't forget to go back home every once in a while. Wow. Bret Hart's a real dude. He's from Calgary, Canada. I yeah, moved to Calgary. Canada. <laughs> Again, Calgary. We moved with us. Stampede. <laughs> stampede. Shout out to the Stampede. Con- Calgary <laughs> Stampede. It's a thing. It is. It's a thing. That's, why, that's a wrestling capital. Oh, it's dude. a wrestling capital. Yo, the, 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 the hearts uh, are like the Kennedys of wrestling. They are like the Kennedys of wrestling. Straight up. Dude, this shit was intense. It just turned into a wrestling podcast. Man. They, they had this guy. He was named Bartman. His 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 luchador mask was a Bart oh, train. Oh yeah! <laughs> what? Like the side of it, the it side like of it what? was a Yo, it was a Bart Barter. train, ah, and then the sense. eyes were like the B and then the A. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, oh, that was his oh, eyes. Wrestling is crazy. Wow. I should look this up. It was El I know, Bardo. me too. <laughs> you got a part of it. I gotta see. There was a, 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 a group called the Squad. And squad. Then, squad, 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 and then they they they're high five to people in the crowd like you gotta flip them off and they'll they'll like they'll like like flip off the fl- like middle finger middle finger that's yeah, that was yeah, their yeah. high five. I was I was behind Phil and then there was this tall black dude because it was like three on three wrestling. And then halfway through the match, I went to Phil. I was like, has this shit been going on the whole time? And what I was talking about was the tallest guy there had half a leg. And he had his stump chilling on the second rope. And I was like, has this shit been going on all match? (laughs) It was like, yeah. Like, he he came out with crutches. (laughs) Squat. Squat. (laughs) And they had a rap song. That shit was... It was, there was real there was real fans for them. It was, it was crazy. Yeah, man. That shit is it. It could be wrestling is is choreographed, but at the same time, that shit look that shit's real as no, fuck. That shit was yeah. very entertaining. Sh- very entertaining. There was a lot of shit. I was like, damn, that hurts. Oh yeah, dude. It, it, all that stuff hurts, man. Yeah. Everything. The punches. You gotta sell that shit. Make it look good to the crowd and entertain them. But um, yeah, man. 
<laughs> Hood Slime is dope because they have different themes. This theme was in sync, so they had the the main event was this guy named H B Ken. So he was, <laughs> he was he was wearing the heart like Ken. Wait, yeah. was he Asian? He, no, no, he was white. Okay. He was he had and he, and he dyed his hair blonde. You can tell he dyed that he shit. He looked like Ken. He looked like Ken from Street Fighter. Yeah. But then he had like the H B K like. Like like Ears shiny shit. shit, and he came out the sexy boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> HB Ken. Oh my god, I want to go back to that shit, and I want to record so live from there because there was creative. so much shit to look at. There was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. Is this on. a yearly oh, thing? What is it's this? A, it's a, a every, every Friday, Friday thing. thing. Oh, it's an every Friday Let's thing. Let's do this shit. Like literally every week. And it, yeah. it says there, don't bring your fucking kids because yeah. <laughs> it's not kid friendly. People are drinking chalada. People are, are oh my God. So you guys was, had a night off. We did. No kids. No kids. <laughs> I left, left the kids home. Yeah, only, the, I don't think you bring the kids. <laughs> no, it was WWE show yeah, The kids would be high as shit. If they were. Yeah, <laughs> WWE yeah. shows or something There was else. so much secondhand contact. Oh, my God. <laughs> that shit was dope, though. Wow. I didn't think I'd have as much fun as I did. I've never been to yeah. a live wrestling place. I, I know how it always is for outsiders and stuff, right? I, I figured never. I was just going to go, whatever, kick it, have a good, you know, whatever, hang out with everybody. And then you get sucked into that Dude, energy. I was over there counting with them. What? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Dude. Oh. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, uh, yeah. Every smack got the Ric Flair. Woo! Oh, I, wish I, <laughs> I wish I was there to see y'all like, experience that shit. I'm ready, I'm ready to run you. that back. <laughs> yeah. Let's run Let's it back. wrestling shows, time. man, especially indie shows, they got something to offer. Oh man! And there we go. I was watching you guys' uh, your story actually. And I was like, "What's going on here? What Bart is this? And how can I be a part of this?" Bartman. <laughs> I would. El Bardo. El Bardo. Yeah, that shit was. Full fun. Metal Raymond. Yeah. Wow, is this big brother right here? No, little brother. Little, little brother. brother. Yeah, no, yeah. Baby brother, little brother. Little brother. By how many day, years? Right? Yeah. He's uh, four years younger. Four years Damn, younger. Damn, you old as shit. Yeah, he was a skinny, <laughs> but I am old as shit. <laughs> Shout out to Full Metal Raymond doing it, man. Yup. Is he back here in the Bay? Yeah, How he's many back siblings in the Bay. do you have? Just him. Yeah. So it's just he, two boys. I didn't even get to meet him at the wedding. Wow. Was he there? I think he did. We were Let's all. He went to, oh, yeah. I would ask him to watch that. Put me in a suplex. You should have choke slammed him. One time for the one time. One time for he the one time. He didn't have his mohawk. He's all grown up now. Oh, so, but, uh, does he have kids and everything right too? No, no. Ray, he, my, oh. my brother doesn't have kids yet. But Damn, he did but just get a puppy. Oh, the wall is yours? Okay, you got a buzzy. Okay, that's all what right. he needs a refill. That's what he needs. What? All right. Let's end, <laughs> let, let's end this episode on a, on a, sh- on a, on a toast. 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 Yes. Toast to, to all toast. the Voltron lines back again. Dries is back in the country. Yes. Right on. Yes. Thank you, Jared's guys. back in the podcast. Thanks Mono's for back on his bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout you, out to Mono. you. Shout out to At We Eating. Get your podcast popping. Yes, thank you. Um, real quick, when is the coloring book coming out, Jerisa? Oh, yes. I want to talk to you guys about that. Uh, real pre-order? quick. I good. wrote it somewhere, but it erased. On your um, head? Pre order. Pre order. I know, but I, sometimes I don't look at my smartphone. Uh, pre orders are th- March 24th. I think that's a Sunday. 324. And then regular. That's where it starts? That's yeah. Pre orders will get you free beads. So hey. you'll get you'll get two options. Uh, the coloring book plus stickers. And then the second option is coloring book plus stickers plus coloring pencils. Um, and that's gonna be on my website. My kids. They love really? stickers, hell yeah. Well, you know, this coloring Any book, I, I did a lot of research, and I think I just did it, and uh, ended up doing it based on my preference. I like coloring books that go here and there, and it's, it's you know, they're... Long growing up, stickers, I'm getting it. Growing up, I've never seen coloring books with other shit than Lisa Frank or Barbie, and oh, you know Frank what I mean? Lisa Frank was dope. She had tigers they're, and shit. Yes, I loved it. <laughs> but don't expect this one to be like all flowers what? or all rainbows <laughs> or all whatever. It's... It's stuff that I grew up with, and it's mm. it's illustrations. If you know me as an artist, it's illustrations that I've done, and they're all going to be new, but they're all in my style, Flex. and they're going to be really good. Time to have sex. Um, <laughs> and then regular orders are on the on the thirty first. Did I say? And that's not going to include yeah. stickers and coins. Yeah. You don't get shit. You don't get. It's just regular price. <laughs> so you want to do the pre orders? So get that shit on the twenty fourth. Um, and it's going to be on lifebreezeart.com. Lifebreezeart.com. You'll, you'll see yeah. it. Yeah. I'll announce it on. At Life Bees Art on Instagram My and kids Facebook. love stickers, and you will see yes. us reposting that. Oh, so keep a guys. keep yeah. an eye out on Last that. Life Bees Art. 
I appreciate the support. Phil, any projects you got going on? Yeah, uh, Project Kids. Project Kids in Kinetic like Sand. Project. I like yeah. That is a yeah. tough project. Building tree houses. That's next on the to-do list. Oh, yeah. you know? I've always wanted. Mono, you got projects? In the backyard that we all used to party in? Yeah. <laughs> in the backyard a hell of different, bro. <laughs> backyard <laughs> again. Come check it out one time. Uh. You're Jared, like, damn, this backyard group. What's up. your project, Project Jared? Well, what is our project? Because we have a long gestating project, but it's definitely getting movement finally. So, uh, good I things are worth. I, I love it. Good so things far. are worth waiting for. That's what I believe, and uh, we want to make it right. Uh, I'm gonna share some stuff with my crew after the podcast, but like for real, me and Gus, we got something cooking. Make it right. Make I, it tight. And Get I think it right. Get like it tight. It. Uh, and that oh uh, shout out to Avs Original if you want to get any pins Avs. yeah uh, designed all by Jared Avs Originals um, A V E Z Originals Johnny uh, shout out to Tales from the Roddy, Pet Dog Roddy, Walking Tales <laughs> Tales from the Pets Dog Walking hit them up on Yelp uh, shout out to Mono at We Eating hit him up get your podcast popping he does green screen work uh, shout out to All Out Foul shout out to Hefs for uh, for hosting. Uh, shout out to the F word for the logo, and we are out. Shout out to the F word. We need a new T-shirt. Twenty one.